Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be going over some ethics of biotechnology and some ethical questions for you to consider. Now this is actually part two of my ethics videos. The first one I made is now four years old and there's been a lot of really interesting things and questions that have come up within the science world since then. So I'm going to go through, I have all new questions for you to consider and these are just things to talk about or maybe bring up at the dinner table over a cup of coffee with some friends over Zoom and just some things that you might want to think about or get your friends or family's opinion on too. As a reminder, what are ethics? Ethics are rules or standards that govern what people decide is the right thing or wrong thing to do. There's no clear right or wrong position in ethics because a person's individual experience, culture, education, that all can help guide them and make their own ethical choices. Ethical views can evolve and change over time as society's values change. For example, there are some GM products now that are on the market and are widely distributed, including Atlantic Salmon, that a lot of people were really hesitant about just a few years ago. There are some ethical positions that are shared by a large group of people within one society. So for example, it's essential for all biotechnology products to be safe for humans and the environment. It's a pretty common ethical stance. Now in the next few slides, I'm gonna bring up some of these topics that may be a little controversial or something that you might wanna think about as far as what your ethical position is on some of these scientific issues. I'm not gonna tell you what's right or wrong or give you a yes or no. I just want you to think about these and really start to form your opinion as you learn more about these topics and issues. Our first question here, should CRISPR-Cas9 editing be performed on human embryos? Yes or no? So CRISPR-Cas9 is a cheap and fast genome editing tool that has been gaining popularity. In 2018, a woman in China gave birth to twins that allegedly came from embryos that had been edited using CRISPR-Cas9 technology. The embryos had been edited to reduce the baby's susceptibility to HIV, which is a dangerous immunodeficiency virus. But in 2020, the scientist who claimed he edited these genomes was sentenced to prison for illegal medical practice. So go ahead and think about it. If you have a note sheet, go ahead and jot down what your opinion is on this issue. Next up, should de-extinction projects be funded and supported? Yes or no? In 2021, scientists successfully cloned an endangered black-footed ferret from the frozen DNA of a deceased ferret who lived in 1988. This type of research will help scientists pursue more de-extinction projects for other species. Some scientists argue that de-extinction projects will reduce the desire for people to protect endangered species in the present or cause harm to ecosystems when extinct species are brought back. What do you think? Should they be funded and supported? Yes or no? Go ahead and jot down your answer. Next question, do you think the US government should regulate all genetic testing? Yes or no? Genetic testing has become cheaper, easier, and more accessible in the past few years. The Food and Drug Administration, or FDA, regulates some at-home genetic testing kits for validity and usefulness to consumers. Some argue that for privacy and health reasons, these tests should have more regulation. Others believe the test should be regulated by companies and physicians. What do you think? This next one is pretty interesting since the technology has evolved quite a bit in the past few years. Researchers can now take live muscle cells from living cows to grow meat in bioreactors in labs. Lab-grown meat could reduce the environmental impacts of traditional meat production and eliminate many of the ethical issues surrounding the treatment of animals raised for meat. Do you agree or disagree that lab-grown meat should be sold as meat in stores and restaurants? What do you think? All right, next one. Do you think GM mosquitoes should be used to reduce mosquito populations? And GM just means genetically modified. Mosquitoes can carry many diseases harmful to humans, such as malaria, dengue, and Zika. In the US and Brazil, scientists have released genetically modified male mosquitoes that carry special proteins that will kill off female mosquitoes before they reach maturity, thus reducing mosquito populations. Some argue this could have unforeseen environmental effects or cause insecticide resistance in certain populations. So what do you think? Should these genetically modified mosquitoes be used to reduce mosquito populations? So those are all the ethical questions I have for you right now. There's plenty more to discuss, and I encourage you to check out my other video if you haven't already watched the original Ethics of Biotechnology video that I've put out. If you think of more questions or something shows up in the news that you have questions about, make sure you put it in the comments below and feel free to bring these ideas to your teacher, to our class, and I'm happy to have these discussions. Again, I'm not here to provide answers, just to hopefully get you to ask more questions. All right, thanks everyone for watching. See you later.